Welcome. My name is Amy Dixon, and I'm the director of Vivian. And I've been honored with a distinguished guest today, Dr. Deborah Prothro Stith. And I am honored to be here, Amy. This is um, an exciting opportunity to help young women understand what's happening to their bodies. And I love the film, so it's a pleasure to be here with you. Well, thank you. Thank you. So when we open the film, uh, a lot of these images actually are family, uh, except for that one woman there who my production designer said looked like could, she could be my family. Mm -hmm. But some memorabilia here uh, that I've collected over the years. As you notice, there are a lot of allusions to a woman's cycle, like the red dots in the name period. Right, right. Which, really, I think some jewelry ought to be made with those red dots, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> it's a great idea. So that's Drew Dixon, who is the lead. She's also my sister, and she came up with the concept for a woman being personified as a period. Um, which is a great idea because it really is reflective of what people say often, which is, you know, my aunt is coming to visit or my friend is visiting. You know, so it really is a great idea. Yeah. So it, we thought it would be interesting to portray it, but we wanted to portray it in a way that was lighthearted. We didn't want to make it overly dramatic because it can be a very dramatic time in a woman's life because of the changes of their body. Right. Maybe you could talk about that a little bit more. Well, you know, it's. I think you're right to say you don't want to make it over dramatic because, in fact, it's a normal and monthly occurrence so that it is a part of life and it's the thing that women become um, used to experiencing. So I think it is uh, physically... Uh, demanding and requires attention, um, but it's normal. Mm -hmm. And I think those are the two important aspects of this. Right. And, and a part of the allusion to it being normal is her having a calendar. So she knows that Vivian is supposed to be coming. In fact, from a filmmaker's perspective, that calendar scene kind of alludes to her becoming from from being a part of the body coming into reality as a right. person. And I think she's a little bit worried that it's not coming because there is this calendar and there's an expectation. I think what's interesting is that for very young girls entering their menstrual cycle, it can be irregular, and that's normal. And obviously, at the end of it, it can be irregular. Mm -hmm. But once you know your body, you know to expect Vivian right, right, at right. any particular time. Right, but sometimes can't stress or different aspects of your life affect the uh, the cycle coming later or earlier? Oh, definitely. It's very interesting because the body basically through the light in the eyes knows the cycle. So, you know, at night when you're sleeping and waking up and at night when you're sleeping and waking up, there's the cycle. That's how the pituitary gland knows. This is the part mm. of the brain controlling so if you disrupt that cycle, if you stay up all night, if you have a lot of stress and don't sleep, if you have, you know, a, a wonderful occasion and you're, you know, full of energy and life, you can interrupt the okay. cycle. And that's what's happening here. Yeah, obviously, absolutely. You know? <laughs> yeah, because she, she's going through a very stressful period in her life. She's just graduated from law school. She's about to take the bar. And so she's under a lot of stress already. And right. then with her cycle coming, it, it, it affects it even more. So you see she's checking her calendar here. And um, her boyfriend comes in and is curious to know why she seems somewhat distressed. Of, yes, 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 yes. And I think it's interesting to um, understand the importance of a relationship where someone can balance out the emotions during that time. You know, mm -hmm. there is a very physical aspect of your menstrual period, needless to say. And uh, the salt, the popcorn, the M&Ms, you know, the whole thing that she was eating, the cravings, that, that, that all reflect some very physical aspects of what's going on. So this um, character, the boyfriend, really represents the kind of balance that you need in your life. When Vivian comes, day one, yeah. yes. <laughs> And she comes, doesn't yes, she? Yes, she does. <laughs> and I wanted to make this a surprise party because mm -hmm. it's, again, uh, a metaphor for the surprise of one's period coming when you're right. not expecting it. Right, right. And I think a lot of times, especially when you're new to having a cycle, you're not prepared for it. So 
you know, some of the some of the other ways that I tried to heighten that is she's wearing like light colors, colors and doesn't know. Right. Right. You know, exactly. to wear dark brown, black. <laughs> yes. And, yes. It's you know, again, women have to accommodate the fact that their menstrual right. period comes and that they will have, you know, anywhere from three to six days where they are three to seven for some of us mm-hmm. uh, where, you know, you have to check what you're wearing. Right. You know? Right. So I must say the products to um, uh, take care of your menstrual period from the tampons to the napkins, all of that have gotten a lot better mm-hmm. than when I started my menstrual period. Amy, right. And that was, you know, 50 years ago. <laughs> 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 now the clothing of Vivian is will change throughout the film as well as the makeup and the hair. She's right. wearing really thick, heavy layers, lots of textures. Oh, here is uh, the, kind of her, her subconscious of wanting to stuff Vivian away and also kind of a metaphor for a tampon. Tampon, <laughs> that's what I thought about when I right. saw it. That literally, um, you know, the spilling of the red on the clothes, the right. stuffing in of the tampon. I mean, because, you know, when your menstrual period comes, it comes, you know. Right, right. And um, it takes attention. You mm-hmm. have to pay attention. And I love this part where she's saying, <laughs> can I wear this? Can I wear this? You know, will this even fit? You know, will you let me wear this? No, she's not going to wear that. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely not that. Some of my direction for Karen, who played the part of Vivian, um, was to tell her to kind of act like a baby. Yeah. Because yeah. sometimes I think you feel like your your period's like a baby and you have to give into it no matter what. You have to pay attention. Right. It doesn't understand that you're going through different changes or you have things to do, so you have to accommodate it no, at, at, at any cost. Right, right. So she's got these baby-like gestures and sounds that she's making. <laughs> I, I love this. She's going to like this, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Of course she does, yeah. because it's, you know, it's the protection that most of us need when we're right. on our menstrual period. <laughs> and there's more salted popcorn going yeah, on here. <laughs> exactly. The woman on the end actually was my assistant in the film, and she so much wanted to be in the movie. Oh, well, there's a great part for her. Exactly. So I said, okay, you really want to be in the film? We need some more people in the movie theater. You can sit on the end. And she was she was awesome. She gave such an amazing, humorous response to this situation that uh, it was priceless. She got a little bit more playtime on screen because of her okay. great reactions. Right, right. And, and there's Vivian sitting yeah. right in the middle, <laughs> taking front and center. You know, it's normal to have a menstrual period, obviously, Mm -hmm. but you have to pay attention to it. You know, even if you think, okay, I can, you know, swim, I can do what I've got. You've got to pay attention. And I think that's something for young women, too. And actually, when you stop having your menstrual period, for whatever reason, but mine for menopausal reasons, Uh it's delightful, Amy. (laughs) (laughs) When Vivian stops coming to right. visit, it's the one great thing. <laughs> oh, look at her. She's just, uh, yeah, they're the emotions. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those situations where you just don't want to be bothered. You're in the middle of right. a movie theater, in the middle of the row, but you have to run to the restroom, so... <laughs> Right. And the music uh, is great because it gives this dramatic kind of suspense thriller Hitchcock sound. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> She's got the right attitude. Right. Oh, I love it. Now, what do you think he's thinking at that point, you know? He's stuck between a rock and a hard place. He's He has to accommodate his girlfriend, but at the same time, keep the audience quiet, too. Right, you right, know. right. No, it's so well done. Here, I, I love the the outfit that she has on. It just shows a, a, a layering process mm-hmm. kind of slowly coming off. Off, right, right, right. She's getting the a little more glamorous. The, yeah. Right, right, right. Now, in terms of back aches, is that common? You know, well, she said, my back is aching, and it is very common. In fact, um, you can get full muscle body aches, almost like you have the flu, Women get nausea and vomiting during their menstrual cycle, craving. It is, you know, it's very individualized. But there are some very specific reasons why your back can start aching. And it has to do with the bloating and the blood Mm -hmm. flow in that area. So 
it, you, you can actually with heating pads, with some of the anti-inflammatory medicines, you know, you can help that. Okay. Now, this scene for me is really important about in terms of showing the relationship between Drew's character, Aaron White, and uh, Christopher Scott Chirot's character, Sean, mm -hmm. um, and the fact that it really does can affect a relationship and you have to find a balance in your relationship and make sure that your your partner is aware that you might be going through some changes, you know, but at the same time, I mean, you know, you got to keep moving on. Too, so. Well, it's sort of like he realizes now that Vivian is still here. Right. Know? That's, I mean, that's <laughs> one thing that, you know, if you have a committed relationship, you're checking in on these things. Yes. You know? Because uh, not only is she still here, she's sitting in the, mi in the middle and she's got a very irritable um, <laughs> Uh, persona right now, which right. is a part of it. Yes, yes, you know, absolutely. It's, a, it's an emotional experience. It's a physical experience, and um, you know, learning to accommodate it, I think, is a part of um, growing up and being a woman. Yeah, a lot of the men who have seen the film have really loved the scene because they could totally relate to it. And right. Well, and she, of course, has to coddle. And pay attention to Vivian right. because it's it's a part of her body. It, exactly. It's ah, oh yeah, get <laughs> away! Don't touch me. Right. Absolutely. That's exactly what's going on. <laughs> he tries. He tries, but um, <laughs> sometimes you know, sometimes it's space that you need. But he shouldn't get angry, right? Knowing that you know that's just kind of a part of it. Uh, it's hard to deal with, but, you know, it's part of it. Now, this scene for me is the climax of the film, and it's when uh, Drew's character, Aaron, really tries to confront Vivian and keep her at bay and tell her, look, I, this is my body that you're in. You can't have complete control, control of it. Over it right. Um, in fact, there's uh, a scene where she gets into the water. Uh-huh. And... Your, her period leaves, right? And when women get in water, it actually does go away. Isn't that true? Well, some it just is just a physical thing in terms of the pressure of the water, and okay. you don't get the same level of flow because there's constriction, you know, just physically pressure. I see. I see. I think a lot of women think that it actually leaves when you're in water. Yeah. But okay, I see. That's that's what's happening. And there's the accommodation period. There, right. That's it. You have to. <laughs> you know, it's a struggle for women. It really is. The menstrual cycle is a struggle. And... Um, Now, now some women though, I mean, there is there are cases of women who now this is obviously not literally a, vi a, a, a an extreme version of violence, mm -hmm. but there are some women that react in a more violent way or kind of lose. Well, you can control. be much more emotional. You can, and so the the issue of violence, which um, is is really not as big an issue as is often portrayed when they talk about PMS as the defense or right. Uh, but but the issue of irritability and maybe a bit more um, aggressive, emotional, and if you're in a context um, where violence is possible, then you know it might lead to some. But that it's you know I I think again that it's your uh, normal life accommodating mm -hmm. uh, the menstrual cycle is sort of the important thing. For most women, it won't be a period of violence. Okay, because I know there's some, actually some cases where women have used it as a, right, a defense. Right, as a defense, right. And, you know, there are, uh, you know, you can talk about some of the extreme, unusual situations. Um, I had a, co uh, a friend in uh, college who uh, really had to stay in bed. Her menstrual cramps were so bad, and she had nausea and vomiting, and her pain was so horrible. So, you know, out of every month, she was in bed for three to four days. Mm. That's unusual. You right. know, I mean, I had, you know, of the 12,000 women at Spelman, that probably was happening to three, you mm -hmm. know. So, in these cases where there's self defense or something like that around the menstrual cycle, it really doesn't reflect what's happening for the normal. 
uh, young woman in society. I mean. You